So what is going on guys? Welcome back to the first football video of 2019. And pretty much the first football video I've done in about, what, six months? A good six months a at while, least? Yeah, it's while. been a while, but we're gonna bring it back and we're bringing it back with a bang. It's Ian Wright. There's bangers, there's top corners, there's headers, there's volleys, and obviously there's, 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 there's a molly pig. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let me tell you how this video works, okay? So last week I was lucky enough to be invited down to EA Sports headquarters to meet up with the legend himself, Ian Wright. Now it was his job, along with my expertise and knowledge, to help him pick out his FIFA 19 EA Sports Team of the Year. And that is exactly what this challenge is based around, okay? So we're gonna go through his team that he has selected. We're gonna do a challenge on defenders, midfielders, and attackers. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, before we crack on into round one, all about the defenders, we need to see exactly what players Ian Wright chooses in his World 11 for the Team of the Year. All right, boys and girls, we're now here at EA Sports. I'm gonna be helping the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Ian Wright, to be pick his ultimate 11 for the FIFA 19 Team of the Year. So let's crack on into it. Okay, so Theo, we'll start with the keepers. Yep. Um, who are you going with? Uh, so who we got? Let's go with it. Let's go. We got we got Old Black, Loris, De Gea, Courtois, and Allison. See, I think it's three and two. Mm -hmm. I would say De Gea mm -hmm. because of how poor United have been. He's had to keep him in quite a lot. You know, mm -hmm. the defense hasn't been great. Um, I see what you're saying. I think that between them, Courtois, De Gea, Loris, and Old Black, I think they've all been a little bit ropey as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to go with Alisson. I think he's a goalkeeper that, um, you know, he, he's making match, match winning saves now, yep. if that makes sense to people. Um, for a Liverpool team that are doing brilliantly, not conceding a lot of goals, and when he's called upon, he's making great saves. He definitely, on. yeah, go for it. He brings confidence into his defence as well. Okay, I'm, I'm not just thinking because it's mine. I'm, go for it. Thanks. I'll give you permission. Thank you very we're much. We're all good. Theo. Okay, Alisson, you've made it, baby. So we're going to go on to the defenders. There's a lot. There's a lot of defenders, a lot of great defenders. Really, like, realistically, there's, there's the same every year. There's one guy that's consistent, mm -hmm. he stands out, he plays for the best team in the world. Marcelo. Think how many times viral clips of Marcelo have gone around him doing some disgusting touch. Oh, you know when he just stops yeah. it dead and yeah. just like... You know something, I, I think that Marcelo, you can't really go... When you consider how integral he's been in, mm. in Real Madrid's, like, success. Yeah. And like you say, you have to add in the fact that he's so amazing on social media. He's, he's one of those players that when he retires will be the Roberto Carlos. Like he the will legend. be, he will be. I think, you know, we can't really, you can't, we can't really make an argument um, for anyone else at left back. We have to say, Marcelo, we're going to have to put Marcelo in. You've done it, my friend, well done. So, right back, um, what, what, are you, what are you thinking? See, this geezer I'm about to say, I feel like he doesn't necessarily deserve Team of the Year, mm -hmm. but he definitely deserves a mention. Absolutely. For what he talking. did to the nation, to our hearts, for you, Kieran Trippier. <laughs> Mate, when that free kick goes in against honest, Croatia. I've never cheered a Tottenham, a Tottenham player <laughs> yeah. so much in my life. It was, a, it was a situation where I actually got quite, I, I got emotional about it simply because I, it, for a second now I thought, my gosh, we, 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 could, we, may get to the, we might get to the World it Cup was the, It was such a strange feeling because you're looking around like, yeah, we're doing it. We could actually do it. Like, what's happening? What's happening? Like, we want a penalty shootout. It's happening. But I think Vasalko for me, Inter Milan and Croatia, I thought he was brilliant in the World Cup. Yeah. Um, I thought he'd done brilliantly in um, getting his, helping his team get to the, to, the, to the finals. I think they ran out of steam like we all saw. But as a player, I don't think it's, oh, sorry Vasalko, I don't think it's going to be long before we see someone like him maybe in and around the Premier League. He could get a big he's, move he's, yeah, from Inter. He's, he's a top, top player. First World Cup final player on the, on the board. Yeah. Well done. Big choice for centre half. Yes. Um, who are you thinking? I know. I know you probably he, he jumps out when you mention centre half. The first person that comes out in everybody's is Sergio Ramos. Yeah. He's uh, he's I, I I like he's one of them guys you hate him. Yeah. But you love him. You do. You've got to make a case for even Varane. Varane. Partnership. And you know, won the World Cup as well, man. Hang Varane, on a like 22, 23. Yeah, he's and, World Cup and Champions and League. Cha <laughs> oh no, this is the tough Honestly, one. Honestly, I, I think the World Cup has got to. We've got to give. Varane's got to make it. I think that what this guy has done, with all the all the hype and everything that's been around him from a young age, he's well, now he's still, not, he's yeah, still young. Isn't he's still he? young. Like, so young. He's still somebody that you're thinking to yourself, he's got so much more to come, and he's already achieved so much. I think that Varane, I'm gonna have to put Varane in there. Boy, he just can't stay. Look at him with his vexed up face. Ramos, he can't keep him out of the argument, man. He made it, Ramos. A figure we love to hate. We've got, got three Real Madrid players already. <laughs> <laughs> so to recap, all right, Ian Wright and myself chose Alisson in goal, Marcelo cut right back, Ramos, Rand centre half, Marcelo left back, okay? Now George is going to be in goal, he's going to be Alisson, so he's going to pull all the stops out. 
Okay. Alright, he's been a world class keeper for Liverpool this year and rightly so, he deserves the team of the year. And also the right backs and the left back, the Sal Marcelo attacking full backs, very attacking. And the centre halves also attacking. Yeah. They score goals for days. So this drill, okay, the full back is going to represent both players, okay. So the full back is going to be crossing it in to the centre half. You get two points if you score with a header, mm -hmm. and you get one point if you score with a volley. So you get five attempts each, two points for a header, one for a normal goal. And where we go? Right. So. I'm going to be acting as Vasalko, I think his name is uh, Theo, is Ramos or Varane, whichever he chooses in the box. Hopefully he's going to be scoring some headers because the deliveries are going to be on point. Okay, my heading ability isn't the best, as you know, but in my time, I have scored a couple. Classic <laughs> <laughs> Allison. Right down the keeper's throat and it's pulled off some extravaganza but I've headed the ball and I wasn't expecting to and it's on target. Zero out of one, Charlie's up next. Classic Allison really, it's gone right at him and all the Liverpool fans, oh it's going to trigger a lot of people but all the Liverpool fans just go mental. World's best keeper, let's go Boggy Theo. They think it's a world class save but really it's down the throat of the keeper. So you ram off in the box. Yeah, I told her to be Alison, but I didn't mean literally. I said no, George, that's a no-look volley as well. Oh my God, why? Well, getting past this keeper today is going to be hard. Hit or miss? I bet you never miss, huh? That was Varane-esque. That was very nice, good little <laughs> cushion dip, bottom corner. I'm tuned up after two goes each. Back at it with the volley. It's 2 1. Not a header, but it is a goal. A point. That's the definition of having. You know what? I'd even actually say, but for Salco playing it in, Marcelo comes through to the back post, volleys it. Bottom corner. That's 3 1 to Piggy. Go number four for me. I need a header to get myself back into it. Theo and Wright, he chose Alison in goal, not Simon Mignolet. Oh. But I need another header, because then it will put me 5-3 up, I believe, because we're drawing right now, so come on. Oh, bloody Alison! He's back in the game again! Real, going into the fifth and final goal each. This is where it make or break. I need to defeat Alison and go, and it's gonna be hard. I put it as close, I'll put it out there. I mean, when we talk about connection, he's set it, he's set it. Marcelo's waiting, he's waiting. Clarks the foot, kabam, swazzed it. Bottom corner, I'm absolutely dripping off that. You know what, it's only a one pointer. All Charlie has to do is score a header and he takes the first round. It's coming off. Oh, it's a bit cold now. That is actually such a good header. And that's two points for the Pigmeister General. He may have brought up Harry Kane at the end, but you gotta say, Sergio Ramos ran, they would be happy with those headers. Oh, blimey, that means he wins 5-4 on points. Blimey. All right, before we get into the midfielders, let's have a look and see who Ian Wright and myself choose in the FIFA 19 Team of the Year. Let's talk about Modric, player, to, player of the year, Ballon d'Or winner. We have to, and, and you know, deservedly so. People will say, um, a lot of people have, have not been too um, keen on that, which I find really... I can, I can see that argument. Why? I think because, that... The, 
for somebody, the, the way he's dragged his country through yeah. the ability and the pressure that he's always under, literally carrying a nation. I, I think it's because people are so used to Messi, you know, yeah. Messi. Yeah. they've got that but in their head that has years. to be. Yeah, it exactly. 10 years it was over them too. Modric has to make this team for me. Yeah. Winning the Ballon d'Or, getting his country to the finals. Like, again, they didn't make it. I think that's only right he's the first player. I think he's got to be. I think yeah. Modric, Modric makes the team. I, I know, for me, there's one person who just definitely, I think definitely deserves it. Kante. You're going to go Kante? World Cup winner. He's just, it's something about it. He's, he's just, he's just, he's so, just we're so gonna, good. So if we're going to put Kante in, he's, he's our holding midfielder. I or, think Kante deserves it on what he's done. His, his emergence from Leicester winning the league, Chelsea yeah. winning the league, going on to win the World Cup. Um, I think, for me, right, as much as there's some some great players around the place and Isco's and you know, Rakitic's and Perisic's and David Silva and that. I think, for me, um, Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. right, um, is somebody that, and you know, they were, they were unlucky. I thought, if I'm totally honest, I thought the Bel Belgium were easily, uh, if not the best, one of the best West teams in the World Cup. And I think if anybody's making a, 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 an ultimate 11, um, of current players, then Kevin De Bruyne. He's just that spark, he's the creativity yeah. in the middle. He's not going to be a million miles away, I feel. He's both footed, like, he's got everything. He's mm -hmm. the real package. We've got everything in that midfield three. We've got energy, skill, passing ability. That is a serious lot. team right there already. De Bruyne, Modric, Kante. I'd say three varying midfielders, right? So you've got to make up a challenge that generalises the centre midfield role. Obviously, we could do passing, but we ain't about that life, Charlie. We want shooting and goals in these videos, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to do a challenge based around the centre midfielder come to support the striker. When the ball, the winger is down the byline, the ball gets played back, and Frankie Boy Lampard, centre midfielder, edge of the box, touch, finish. One point, if you take a touch and score. Two points, if you're hitting it first time. Yep. That extra incentive, incentive to score a first time finish you win issue. First go for me, the pig. Go for one out of one. Go for two challenges out of two and win the video. Let's go. They call those the Kevin De Bruyne's. Did you just start seeing those? It was the touch. See ya, who are we looking at? Not too sure. Goal, one all. First go was a goal, and I got one point because obviously I took the touch. Now do I go first time? We'll see what the delivery's like. Oh, we can't. Depending on how the setup is, I maybe want to try and go for a first time and just get a lead. Make me miss, but I've scored. That was actually quite hard to get. Like, I, that could have basically that could have hit the back of the house. Right, uh, I'm losing three two, but not for long. We're going for that first time. Oh, I ain't got a bottle. I'll be honest with you. DJ, we're going down. <laughs> Good guy. Right, I'm losing. Been given a lifeline. I do have to score this one first time. Oh. Right, I'm back in the lead. What's that mean? 4-3. Four, three. Four, yeah? Three to you. 4 3 to me. Did a little first what's, time what's up? that pose. You should have hit that on such a weird height to hit, you don't well to get in there. Yeah, goal. I did alright. 4 3, that's my fourth go. There you go. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> He thinks I'm going to give you an easy one and he'll smack it over the bar. But I'm a changed man. 2019 is the year I score good goals consistently. Two points, 5-4 to me. Charlie's fifth go. Fifth and final go for Bigster. Needs a two points to take the lead. All right, so that means my last go, we're level. It's tied. So I need any goal to take the win, take the victory for round two and take it to the final striker round. Uh, mate, if that's not on camera, I think I'm gonna cry. I think I'm gonna cry. I've just scored a world in it. It's only a one-pointer, but I win. 
Wow, please tell me that's on camera. Oh my God, right. Charlie's one defender round. I won midfield around. Now it's time to see who myself and Ian Wright pick for the strikers in team of the year. So strikers. Ronaldo and Messi are going to make this you, team. You have to, right? They're no-brainers. Do you think so? I, I think you have to. I think to. Messi, Messi, Messi. Where's my man? Where is Messi? Like, Messi. Like, if you just look at, like, all you have to do is just look at their stats, and it's just like, it's ridiculous. Their stats are ridiculous. Mm. You can't have any, an, an 11 yeah. without Messi. I think that argument stands up for itself. And then, you know, Cristiano, you know, of course we've got Doski, we've got Harry Kane. And you know what I mean? Mbappe. You know, for me, I think um, Mbappe. You go with Mbappe. I think, I think I'm going to go with Mbappe. He was so in the good at the World Cup. Yeah. And it, was he 18 at the moment? Yeah. There's no way. There's no way Mbappe can't make it. And if we're going to be totally honest with, I know we've got some great strikers. Aguero, Salah's got to get a mention. If you're having uh, an ultimate 11, yeah. And Cristiano Ronaldo has to be in it, 100%. just like Messi has to be in it. Um, I'm just going to give him his place because yeah. he just proves that no matter what, he, what yeah. club he's at and what he's doing, he's, just, he's, 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 he's one of the greatest. So this is it. This is my ultimate 11, ultimate world 11. You know, take it away, Theo. We got in goal, Allison. Absolutely. Full backs, Marcelo and Verasco. Yeah, that's how many bumps in there. Centre half of Ryan, Sergio Ramos. In the midfield, De Bruyne, Modric, Kante. In mm -hmm. up front, Mbappe, Messi, and Cristiano Ronaldo. That is, a, oh, that is an awesome team. Mbappe, Messi, Ronaldo. One thing they all have in common three kicks are their forte. Cristiano Ronaldo, bangers. Messi scores three kicks for fun. And Mbappe, he's the youngest of them all, but he's a maestro. He's an absolute maestro, and also he's going to be a future Ballon d'Or winner. So, those three, obviously, we've got to do free kicks. We're here, we're making a football video. It's January, it's Seaford. Free kicks are hit, miss, hit or miss though. All right, now here it is. One point for a right foot free kick. If you score your left foot, two points. I'll go first. Okay, okay I'm gonna try and cheat the system. Go left foot first. This is who I am. I'm, I'm a man of many talents. Off the top of the wall and he goes top corner! That's two points, go number one Charlie! Come on! At your command, I've moved it back and you can move it up to the yellow line if you'd like. So I know Charlie likes to take his free kicks a little bit further out. Isn't that right everyone? You've always got to do what Charlie wants. Good save. That's actually a decent free kick as well. It's on target. I gave you your further back distance. It's gonna work it. I can feel it coming. Oh, your heart was in your mouth there, lad. Oh, I tell you what, that's identical to my one just now. That was literally the same free kick as what I just did. Still zero out of two, Charlie, I'm two nil up. Two points from my left, zero from my right. It's time to bring back the free kicks of the old and bang this to the corner. It's actually gone in. Oh, George, you got a touch before it hit the bar. Oh, it's only one point. I thought Allison of round one had come out again. He's almost saved it, but it's another point. I'm three nil up against Charlie. What is going on? This isn't how videos and free kicks usually go on my channel. Watching an old video of mine, scoring the perfect free kick, I believe it's called, using my left foot as well as my right. And I scored some bangers. The left peg is coming out to play. Back in the game, just matters. like that. Doesn't just matter. like that, keep us stranded. Just like, oosh, goal. 3 2. Top right. Ball's gonna fly, changing it up. Euro. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that could have been so good. I, I pull up the Euro ball and I hit the post. Still on three points. Whip and a whip. 
Wait, you know what score is now though? That's it, free free. Free free, fifth and final go each. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the classic. It's come down to the last strike of the entire video. Here we go. I don't know if that's gone in or not. Surely that's gone in. I don't know. Surely that's gone in. Nope. No. No. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. I've just hit that like an absolute Zing burger. Zing burger. Dick Charlie. One free kick. The most important free kick you'll ever take. You score this, you take the team of the year FIFA 19 video. No. You're not doing what I think you're doing. Cristiano, he steps up. <laughs> Damn! Charlie! Ends in the draw. I mean, what, what, what an anti-climatic ending. We go from a, a, a potential winner, winner, give it up, to classic Seaford. You smash the ball against the house. What more could you ask for? But boys and girls, this is the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Make sure you go check out Charlie. Links in the description down below. Huge thank you to EA Sports for making this video possible with Ian Wright. If you want to check out a full video, I'll link that in the description down below. And there's only one thing left to do, Charlie, and that is comment down below who would you have in your EA Sports FIFA 19 Team of the Year. Oh yeah, and it's a crossbar.